I'm here to give you guys seven handy and useful tips to improve your workflow when working in Adobe Illustrator. So follow along and boost your workflow today. The first one is going to allow you guys to edit and to move objects within a group. So to demonstrate, I have three vector shapes on my canvas that at the moment are not in a group. We can group them together by heading up to object and then group. Or you can just press command G on a Mac or control G on Windows. Now our three shapes are in a group, but to speed up your workflow, instead of having to ungroup them and then change their order or their style, we can instead press A for the direct selection tool. If we do use a direct selection tool, also known as the white arrow tool, we can move individual shapes and even edit them by moving the anchor points, despite the fact they're actually locked together in a group. Pressing V for the standard selection tool is only going to allow you to move the group as a whole, but the direct selection tool by pressing A can move individual shapes. The second tip to boost and improve your Illustrator workflow is going to allow you to click multiple objects or design elements that share a similar quality. So sometimes when working Illustrator, we might have a very busy design with many different objects. Maybe we want to select every object with a white fill color. It might take a long time to go around your design and click every single white object. So instead, we can use a select same function, which is found here. So to demonstrate, I'm first going to select this blue square. And let's say that I wish to select every other square object on my design. All I need to do is to go up to select, then same, and then choose shape. Illustrator has now selected every other square shape on my design instantly. So let's repeat the process, but this time, let's choose select every same object with the fill color. We can even select objects based on the stroke weight, as I'm going to show you guys now. Now this tip is really going to save you time in certain situations when working Illustrator. And that's why it's in today's list of tips for bettering your workflow. The third tip that I have for you today is again very handy when working on busy designs. Sometimes we might want to select one specific object and this can be quite tricky to find it if it's lost in a sea of other objects. In Illustrator, there's a function that allows you to save a selection with a name. So for example, let's select the red circle here, head up to select and then save selection. Type in a relevant name and then hit OK. For very busy designs, you can name and save objects as you make them. And then when you want to select that object again, just head into the select function menu and then click onto it. You can see why this will save you time and also a headache on your design workflow. The fourth workflow tip today is based around topography. Now, many of you might know that the eyedropper tool is great for sampling colors in Illustrator. But did you know that you can click text, then press I for the eyedropper tool, and not only are you going to sample the font, but also the font weight, and also the text color, onto another version of the typography. Again, this saves time and it's a very handy tip to know and to use. So sometimes in Illustrator, it can take a long time to use the pen tool and to make intricate or complex shapes. And actually, sometimes it's even impossible or just very difficult. So, a good tip is to become familiar with the Shape Builder tool. You can find that right here in the toolbar. So have some shapes selected that you've created, and then click on the Shape Builder tool. By default, the cursor is going to have a plus sign above it. If you hold down the Alt Option key, a negative sign will appear. If you use the plus symbol, the Shape Builder tool is going to click and unite parts of the shapes together. If we hold down the Alt Option key, it's going to remove parts of the shapes that we don't want to use. Now this is an awesome and a quick way to create intricate shapes. 
guaranteed to save you time on your workflow. The sixth tip that I have for you today is a keyboard shortcut that I use so often in Illustrator, and that is Command or Control D. So to demonstrate, I'm going to duplicate this shape by holding down the Alt Option key and then clicking and dragging. Once I've done that, I can then press Command or Control D and the process is going to be repeated in the exact same way. You can do this over and over and over again. This really is very useful and I couldn't live without it when working in Adobe Illustrator. So there are 7 tips perfect for beginners in regard to workflow in Adobe Illustrator. But just remember today's video isn't for advanced users. If you want to see more advanced tips in Adobe Illustrator, just let me down below in the comment section. Like and share my videos on social media, and of course have a great day, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.